This video is intended for personal use. Please speak with your medical provider. Hello from your team at the WVU Medicine Children's Brachial Plexus and Peripheral Nerve Clinic. In this video, we are going to show you some ideas and exercises for your zero to three month old diagnosed with a brachial plexus or peripheral nerve condition. Before we begin, please speak with your medical provider to ensure these movements are safe for your child. Positioning. Sometimes babies who have sustained brachial plexus injuries do not have full feeling in their arm. They may not know where their arm is when lying or rolling, and they may not be able to move it into a good position on their own. You will need to help your child position their arm safely throughout the day. Your baby needs to spend time in different positions to develop all of their muscles. Tummy time. It is important that your baby spends plenty of time on their tummy while awake. Take special care to position the affected arm with the elbow flexed and hands close to the face. Your child may tolerate this position better if lying on your chest or across your knees. You can also carry your baby in this position. Side lying. Your baby also needs to spend time lying on both sides. You can place a rolled towel behind the baby's back for support if needed. Bring both hands together in front of the baby and make sure the baby is not lying on the affected arm. Carrying. When you pick up your baby, do not lift your baby by their arms. Be sure to bring the affected arm forward and keep it supported while holding your child. It is important to not let the affected arm fall behind the body. Back. When placing your baby on their back, make sure they are placed on a soft, firm surface and that their head does not always face the same direction while sleeping. Your baby will get plenty of time on their back when sleeping, so it is preferable to place the baby on their tummy or in side lying when they are awake. Massage. Massaging your baby's hand and arm will help them become more aware of the affected arm. Gently, slowly, massage both arms from shoulder to hand. You can also rub both arms gently with a soft washcloth at bath time or apply lotion to both arms. Playtime and toys. Playtime and toys are a great way to help your baby become more aware of their affected arm. You can help increase awareness by moving the affected arm into their eyesight as you play. Move their hands together to help them explore the affected hand with their other hand and help your baby bring the affected hand to their face and mouth. When your baby is two to three months old, you can start to place rattles or other small toys into the affected hand, help them to hold the toy, and move the toy into their line of vision. Thank you for watching. You can also check out our instructional videos on passive range of motion and splinting, or head to our website to learn more about the WVU Medicine Children's Brachial Plexus and Peripheral Nerve Clinic.